ability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. The opinions stated in Short and Sweet with Donovan are not the opinions of Northeast Valley News or Scottsdale Community College. It's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. Then it's just fun and games you can't see. All right, I'm here with another episode of Short and Sweet. Uh, today, I've got Josh here with us. Uh, Josh, um, with the Avengers Endgame coming out, uh, if you had one superpower, what would it be? Uh, probably the ability to fly. So that way you could just go wherever you want. You don't have to pay for gas, you don't have to drive, deal with traffic, you don't have to even deal with buying plane tickets. You can just go to and from wherever the hell you want. So why don't you just do time travel? You could. It just gets a little a little tricky. I've seen too many time travel movies. Uh, no, that gets to be a big pain in the ass. All the time travel movies I've seen, somebody gets Parkinson's, so you don't want that shit happening to you. They went all the way to the future and didn't t say anything about Parkinson's. You know, like, couldn't have been like a little hint like, hey, Marty, do you like drinking coffee? Get a lid. If you could sell one of your non-vital organs on the uh, black market, um, which one would it be and uh, how much do you think you could get for it? So something I have to live without. Yeah, I mean, you got like two kidneys, testes, your anus, whatever. Um, sell, sell your anus. So there's some hope maybe you can like get some kind of like self-cleaning like poop machine in there. So you have to ever That's a colostomy bag you're talking about there. It's already been invented. Uh, would you rather would you rather be a half centaur or a half merman? Half merman all the way. It'd be way cooler to be able to swim through the ocean. I'd like to be a flying merman. You could no no, no. it's top half, man. It's oh, a reverse one. Half. Yeah, it's top half. You're a fish and you got male legs and your parts. It'd be hard to buy pants, you couldn't button them. I don't know. I just take that. I just go pretend I'm a SpongeBob character. It's not know? bad at all. Yeah. That's not bad. He's the guy that makes complaints, I believe, in at the Krabby Patty. Oh yeah, yeah. Crusty. I don't trust a place called the Krusty Krab. I don't think. You wouldn't think they'd have that good of ratings. It's probably like a C, you know. Maybe a K for Krusty. I pronounce Krusty with a C when I say it. I don't know if you could hear it. C watch Krusty, <laughs> Krusty. Welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet. I'm Donovan, and I'm here with Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin, what would be what would be your favorite superpower if you if you could have one superpower? What would it be? To read other people's minds. Yeah, and then I would I'd be do able it. Like cheat on tests better, you know. I'm a bartender. I think it would be great to tell somebody what they're ordering before they tell me. Okay. Oh, you want extra fries? You know, sometimes you can tell if they want extra ranch. Um, okay. If you had to sell one of your organs on the black market, which one would it be? And um, how much do you think you can get for it? I don't even, can what, you give me multiple choices? Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> uh, how about you just, you, you sell some of your teeth to kids so they can get more money from the tooth fairy. What about like a lung? Or, oh, I would get rid of my lungs, but it would not be worth anything. Why is that, do you smoke? Maybe. Cigarettes? Nicotine. Cigar, okay, see? So they'd be worth like a dollar. That's right, your Maybe parents might be watching even, just cigarettes, sure. I don't know, it's okay, my mom's cool. Okay. Your mom, they does she never, sell weed? Be, what? I'm no, just kidding. I don't. Okay. Um, what is your favorite non-dirty cuss word? I, I don't have a non -dirty, favorite non-dirty cuss word, but mm -hmm. I really like fuck a lot. Okay, because you can use it as a noun. Yeah, a like every time like, I sure. sneeze, I'll be like, oh, fuck, excuse me. We always have that one go-to. For sure. And That's good. my go-to. Fuck is your go-to. Yep. That's good. Absolutely. It's all going to be bleeped out, so it's, you know, fuck, fuck, fuck. He has no idea. <laughs> I'm here with... Lindsay. Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Flight, so I don't have to sit in traffic. See, that's the like the third or fourth person we've asked this, and they've everybody said flight, but it's because of traffic. Is it really that bad? Do you think? Yeah, I, I could uh, definitely save some time. Oh, so why not time travel then? Uh, cause things go wrong. Like what could go wrong? The whole butterfly butterfly effect, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It affects okay. a lot more people than. You I think. understand. You just don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to turn into Ash and Kutcher. Um, <laughs> if you had to sell. Some of your organs, some non-essential organs on the black market, which, which one would you sell? Gallbladder, spleen, you don't really need them, and no one can really else ever use them. But it's Oh, yeah, well, why would you sell ones that you don't need, though? I mean, I'm talking about, like, you want to sell it to someone that's going to use it. Maybe a kidney, because you got two. Maybe. Well, think about the kids, Lindsay. Poor kid needs a, needs a kidney, and you're not going to do it. You could sign it and be like, Lindsay's kidney. What's your favorite non-dirty cuss word? Probably the F word. It fits a lot. Fluctuate? <laughs> Flexible, actually. Flexible, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm neither.